Hello, uh, my name is Ruben Tradberg. It's honored to uh, give the Dvar Torah. I am the RCA, uh, the director of the RCA uh, Israel region. I uh, want to share a, a thought about uh, benching. The beginning of the parsha, we have the mitzvah of benching. You come into the land of Israel, at the Shem Why is benching so long? Why, why is it such a long, three brachas, a fourth bracha, more harachamans? It's so long, it's so big. Um, so I want to I want to argue that Chazal did that on purpose to establish benching as not just a tefillah after food, but as the paradigm of modim. It becomes the tefillah of thanks that anchors the day. Um, so we know that uh, the Gemara says the uh, tefillah should consist of, based on Moshe, shevach, bakasha, hoda'a. So the Amidah, we do that. Three brachas of Shavach, which are not so long, but they're okay. A lot of brachas of Bakasha, so that's quite full. And then Modim at the end. But actually, we think, we say we have three brachas of Modim. We don't. We have one bracha of Modim. Ritzay is not a bracha of thanks. It's a Bakasha. Please, Hashem, as the Rav said, transform our tefillah from a tefillah to being a korban, to being a voda. Okay, Sim Shalom, what's Sim Shalom? It's Birchas Kohanim. It's also a Bakasha. Give, a, give us thanks. The only th uh, bracha that we have of thanks is Modim, and it's quite sparse. Modim, we just say, thank you, Hashem, for our life, Chayenu, Nishmotenu, Nisecha Shavchoyam. It really is not, it doesn't say much. It doesn't, it's not very descriptive. Uh, it's, it's not very detailed. So, um, the Torah, when it says v'yachalta v'savata uvarachta, it's not talking about food. It's talking about the broader. If you were to ask me, what is it that you that you're thankful for, and that you should also you should express on a daily basis, it's not just that I had food, but it's that I'm thankful for my life, my whole life. What do you mean your whole life? Torah mitzvahs that we live such a rich, deep, full life. That's the thing I would be most thankful for and I would want to express. I'm so appreciative that I have a rich life of Torah and mitzvahs and a bris with uh, the Creator. That's exactly what Chazal have made benching into it and they didn't manipulate it. That's what, that's what the context in the Torah says, the Torah says, you come into the land of Israel, you have streams and you have mountains and you have a beautiful land, and you have Eretz Chita, Saora, you have a beautiful land of, of uh, produce. You're eat, you eat and you're satisfied and you bless Hashem for the land which he has given. What do you mean the land he's given to you? For the covenant that he made that I will give this land to you and your children after you. And for the fact that he fulfilled that that he's active in our life, and that we're appreciative of that. So, so when the Gemara says, well, when you express appreciation, not just for the food, and not just for the land of Israel, which is a fulfillment of the bris, you should enunciate that it's the bris, and you should enunciate that it's also the Torah, you know, in other words, the broadness of Torah and mitzvahs and a relationship with God and, mitz and, and mitzvahs, and you should enunciate all that. What, what ends up happening is that we make benching into a broad, detailed, full and robust modim, a hoda. Uh, and and it kind of, in a certain sense, what we've done in the in our tefillah and in making Birkat uh, Mazon so full, we've taken shevach that we say in Psukit Zimra and made it robust. We have a, an Amidah with a lot of requests. It's robust. And we've taken benching, which comes immediately after tefillah in a regular day you eat afterwards. In a society based on bread, you'd eat bread often. And benching becomes robust hoda'a in, in, uh, in our tefillah. Uh, and I, I think that's, that uh, is a different perspective on what benching is. It's long because... We are we're expressing appreciation for not just food, but for the fullness 
and the richness of the life that we live, which is, a, which is what the Torah says when you come into the land and you have that rich life. Um, we're expressing the uh, hoda'ah for the richness and the fullness of our life predominantly or, or uh, with an emphasis on Torah and the bris, the fullness of a, of a society which is the land of Israel and spiritual aspiration which is Yerushalayim. Birkat Amazon is modim writ large. Thank you, have a good day and a good summer.